Hello, I'm Cindy Syrian with Community Medical Centers. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Community MedWatch. Tonight, we know there are fabulous nurses in the Valley. Now the rest of the nation knows it as well. When producers from the nationally syndicated television show Nurse TV heard about the quality of care here, they just had to meet some of our amazing caregivers. So MedWatch was proud to partner with them to bring you behind the scenes look at the lives of three very different women with one common goal, to care for those in need. Now you and the Nurse TV audience of some 50 million households this on various Nurse cable TV. outlets get to witness their remarkable stories. First up, meet recovery room nurse Kay Fry. She works at Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital. It's clear she loves what she does and always keeps in mind her patient's safety and well-being. This is our ABG. Kay Fry is a recovery room nurse at Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital in Fresno, California. Today, she will be the first face her patient sees after awakening from life-saving heart surgery. The patient comes out, you don't know what you're gonna get. You have no idea how they're gonna respond afterward to the surgery. Are they gonna bleed? Are they gonna wake up? Are we gonna have complications? Is it gonna be easy? It's just, that's what makes it exciting. And I've been doing this for over 15 years and my heart rate still goes up when the patient's coming down the hall. It's Kay's responsibility to make sure her patient recovers safely from surgery without any complications or side effects. This requires constant care, monitoring, and a lot of supervision. After heart surgery, the heart is a lot of times in a state of shock. So we're managing that shock state and the changes in their vital signs, um, their lab results. We're managing all the stuff going on with the patient. This patient's medical situation is a bit unusual. He was getting worked up to do a, a completely different surgery and um, during his workup did a treadmill test and he failed it, which means he had chest pain during his activity. So they continued to do a cardiac workup and found that he had blocked arteries and needed open heart surgery. And the way we do things in here, we're Everything is like a, a routine. Every patient kind of has their IVs in the same place, the pumps we put in the same place, the drips we put in the same place so that any one of our heart nurses could come in at any time. Okay, I just need a little more slack. So the patient comes out on multiple drugs that are in all these little bags that have different uh, functions for the heart. I have him on nitro because his pressure tended to be up. Maybe he doesn't need that. I got into the crunchy artery here a couple times, and then I just went to this one and it crunched in, but I did get it in. Okay, so this is our art line. An art line, or arterial line, is used to monitor blood pressure in real time. But when it comes to measuring heart rate and pulse, nothing beats the accuracy of doing it by hand. And there you can see his heart rate's a little fast. That's, that's quite a bit faster than than we normally see it. So has his heart rate been this high the whole time or just, nope, just, just are we waking that. up? All the other numbers look good. His blood pressure is where we want it to be. His cardiac um, index is good. Kay is still concerned about the patient's blood pressure. So she decides to give him an IV infusion of albumin, a protein found in the blood. This will increase the volume in his heart and stabilize his BP because it expands inside the body better than just say saline. You know, it's, saline is really watery. This is thick. It's got uh, more viscosity, so it stays in the blood vessels better. It takes Kay and her team about an hour to completely stabilize her patient. She now has a chance to speak with his family. Diaz family, you guys ready to see him? <laughs> is it okay? But right now, he's connected to all yeah. these tubes and things. So it's like being on a leash. He can't get very far. <laughs> Hard to see him like this. Yeah. When you come back in a few hours, you're not going to believe how different it looks. Because and really, it's always so and Yeah. Full of devil. Full of life. <laughs> he will be again. To a lot of people, this is like the biggest thing that could happen to them, to have open heart surgery. So to be able to set someone at ease or their family at ease and, and explain it to them and communicate with them, make them feel uh, 
to relax about it and not be so anxious, uh, that's rewarding. Thank you for taking care of me. Oh, you are welcome. It is our pleasure. A pleasure and a great outcome because of the dedication of people like Kay Fry and the team at Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital. 